Tonight, Woodbury County has its third positive COVID-19 case, and local health officials are set to implement new testing procedures on Friday. But first, as the United States surpasses China and Italy in confirmed cases, President Trump is informing U.S. governors his administration is preparing to issue new, potentially more relaxed guidelines based on where people live. Caitlin Collins shares the details in our top story tonight at 10. As he pushes ahead with his Easter deadline for reopening the country, President Trump told governors today the federal government is developing new guidelines for making decisions on social distancing. The president says using robust surveillance testing, he'll suggest guidelines that rate counties as high, medium, and low risk. The letter comes as public health officials have warned about prematurely reopening the country and voiced concerns about state-based restrictions. This is a virus that doesn't have a driver's license. This is a virus that doesn't have a passport, right? Just because you're in a state that is taking measures to control this doesn't mean that your neighbors two miles away in the next state are experiencing the same measures that are going to be required. Devastating new jobless numbers could add fuel to the president's push to reboot the country within weeks. After more than three million Americans filed for unemployment for the first time, Treasury Secretary Steven Mnuchin dismissed the surge. Instead, Mnuchin is focusing on the sweeping $2 trillion relief plan in Congress. Now with this bill passed by Congress, uh, there are protections. The bill offers assistance to laid off workers and promises a $1,200 payout to millions of Americans. In a sign of the times, the Federal Reserve Chairman made a rare appearance on television where he offered a stark warning about the state of the economy. We may well be in a recession, but I, again, I would point to the difference between the, this and a normal recession. This isn't, there's nothing fundamentally wrong with our economy. Jerome Powell, who has feuded often with the president, predicted economic recovery may not happen until later this year. We would tend to listen to the experts. Uh, Dr. Fauci said something like uh, the virus is going to set the timetable.